everyone. So, um, to all my geeks of the occult, witchcraft, Wicca, and the unknown, and obviously spiritualism, future telling, storytelling, what have you. So, okay, this is the last video in this little thing that I'm doing here. And um, I'm sorry, but here, I'll, I'll try to give you a shot of what I'm doing. I am going to be cooking here, doing up a whole pile of these are radishes. I, I don't know what radishes are. I haven't, I mean, I've had them in real, you know, I've had them in like buffets and whatnot when I was a little kid, but I've never bought them. And then these are like parsnips, apparently. Here we go. Yeah, I can't see what the camera's cat. These are parsnips. And then I got some avocados. And so I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing these things up <laughs> while I'm trying to record here. I'm, I'm trying to get several things done while I have the house to myself, while it's silent, while, while the old people are gone. The old, old people are like kids. They're annoying. You have to take care of them. There's a shit ton you got to do for them. And it's nice to have a little bit of free time to get this stuff done while I can. And to record some videos too. So while they're gone, um, I'm doing this. So, and you'll have to put up with the dishwasher in the background. And I know the windows are behind me. Not good. I got light down on here. I, I look like I'm shiny and everything. It, it's bad. The lighting's bad. I just hope that you can hear me. And I hope that you can hear me well enough. So, the last bit of this video is all about AI. And really, I... I don't know if it's because I'm Asperger's or what, but I seem to think better when I'm doing little piddly, you know, almost like walking, you know, doing little things like I'm doing here, like just monotonously cutting these onions or I'm going to have to peel those parsnips next. You know, there's not, you know, there's not real any thought involved, you know, but it's enough to make me think and keep me on track. So, and if I end up having to jump up during this video to grab something, I apologize. So anyway, so yeah, the three minutes apology and introduction and disclaimer is over and done with there. So what's going to happen next on the horizon, and yes, this is also future telling just like all the other videos. Um, so the advent of AI. They are going to use AI, obviously, like I originally said, to, you know, and, and these two things, these two worlds will be knit together, all right? They're going to use AI to discount all the evils that they're doing. They're going to say, oh, you know, that person wasn't really run over by a car. That person wasn't really shot. That's a deep fake. You know, that isn't true. That's AI technology. You know, that's AI technology making you believe that that person was killed and is dead. You know, that's AI technology making you believe that, you know, that person was violently attacked. You know, that's, you know, they're, they're going to do all kinds of that all over the place. But along with that, and that is going to play right into this, um, they're also going to use, obviously, AI technology to cause mass homelessness. And it is because, and I'm, I'm not sure that there's very much to say about this other than just the point blank stuff. They are going to use AI technology to cause mass homelessness via jobs going away. And when people are homeless, obviously, they can go ahead and put them in jail and take away all their rights, take away their right to vote, take away, have any rights over their life. And then if any of these people... These homeless people say, hey, that person stole from me, that person beat me up, that person, they'll just say, you're lying, those bruises aren't real, that's AI technology. If you're lying, a government official didn't come down and beat the crap out of you, you know, that's AI technology. Anything that really gets going and the public believes, they'll just be able to write off as AI, you know, that isn't true, that's a deep fake, you know, that isn't true. That's the computer. They they already tested this out through, you know, extreme Republican parties and seeing if people would actually accept the lies of something being a deep fake, the lies of something being, you know, AI technology, computer technology. And people have, and now that they tested that system out, they're going to run it in mass. 
all right? So, literally, that's what's going on. And by the way, when it comes to elections, um, well, that, that's, that's more of a tangent. I'll put that on another video. I'll put on another video entirely here. But all of y'all should know this. All of y'all should know about this. Um, I don't know where else I can upload this video other than, man, <laughs> these onions got to my nose. Oh, my God. I don't know where else I can upload this video other than YouTube. I'm, I'm thinking of Rumble. I have an account there. It's not associated with this account at all, but maybe I should start up a witchy geek account on Rumble. I, I don't know where else to post this. I mean, this, this needs to be, but one of the problems with all this is that it doesn't matter where I post it. Um, if the powers that exist today suddenly decide that they don't want me they don't want these truths out there. They'll just take my video down. They don't even have to give me an excuse. I mean, um, everyone in America always, you know, complained about, you know, oh, you know, you don't want to be unfree like communist China. You don't want to have no freedoms at all, like, you know, Soviet this and communist that. And, you know, you don't want to be like Canada where you have to pay a full dollar for a stamp. Well, guess what? That's what we have right now. Currently, you're paying, you know, you're paying full, you know, now it's 63 cents. It's darn near a dollar for one stamp, you know. And if you want to send her international, you're very much paying a dollar for it. You're paying more than that. But, you know, we already have one dollar stamps. We already have, thanks to DeJoy and whatnot. And Trump and Biden, who's just continuing it, you know, Biden is not on your side. Trump is not on your side. I mean making the post office so that, you know, stamps are a dollar. One stamp is one dollar. Okay. And we don't even get free health care for it. You know, it's not like any of the health care is worth it anyway. So why would you pay for it? That's my question, you know, but fine, whatever. Wow. These parsnips are strong. I've never had a parsnip before, so I don't know if I'm allergic to them or what. I heard that you can, I, I read the directions and it said that you can peel them up. I don't know. Whew. It's almost like it's spicy or something. I don't know what to think of that. So, um, the parsnips are getting in my eyes too. Um, <laughs> the parsnips have distracted me. I'm sorry about that. It's already on to the eight minute mark. So yeah, there's not much to say other than that. AI is going to wipe out jobs in mass. And, and this, these are the jobs for the people who right now, despite COVID, despite everything, they're still able to work. This is, this is how after AI is instituted. Okay. Right now, despite COVID and despite everything that has happened, you know, shops shut, shutting down, people getting long COVID, people being chronically ill. Despite all that, there are still large numbers of people who are still going to work and probably shouldn't. And I can guarantee you shouldn't. Who are still driving and who shouldn't be driving. Who are still making executive de decisions and they have no executive functioning. You know, I don't know how else to put it. Um, and, you know, there you go. And... So there are people who are either perfectly fine for one reason or another, or they're relatively fine. Either way, they're still working. That's the whole point. There are people who are still working and still pulling off is what it is. They're managing, like pulling off a crime, they're managing to pull off working. So... That's what this AI is going to do. It's going to put the rest of the, quote, able-bodied, unquote, whether they're truly able-bodied or not, whether, truly, whether they're truly able-minded or not. They're going to put the rest of the able-bodied and able-minded people out of work. That is the main point. And the people that they put out of work, they will put in jail. That's the whole point. So they're going to put... In mass, the people who can work right now, who are supporting, I'm 
sure people who have long COVID and are at home suffering, people who are going through their fifth and seventh and 20th bout of COVID and suffering dearly, you know, whether it's their grandparents, parents, aunts, uncles, friends, spouses, kids, what have you. I mean, it is, it is not good. And so these people who are able-bodied and can work right now, they're going to be guaranteed joblessness in a very short amount of time. And then, and that's what I mean by, in the future, you'll be able to clearly define the humans from the not humans. And what I mean by that is the not humans will be the ones who magically, they're not a hermit like I am. They don't stay out of the public like I do. I, I completely 100% stay out of public. I do not go out. I just point blank don't go out. I don't go anywhere at all. Ever. Which is what has saved me and my family as of thus far. As of thus far. I am I am chronically ill though. And I am quite a terrible and acute sufferer of all kinds of ailments. Um, which I'm not going to get into. But... Because that's a whole other thing right there, which I, I am going to speak on. But basically, after AI is instituted, man, these parsnips are getting to me. After AI is instituted, they will, you'll be able to tell who's a human and who's not. The ones who are not human are going to be perfectly healthy, perfectly fine. The ones who are not human are going to still be employed. And the ones who are not human are going to be raking in the money. They're the ones who are going to be still driving in a car. The ones who are not human are going to be, even, even if they make it look like they're living out of their van or their motor home, it's going to be, you know, glamorously homeless is what it actually is. You know, you heard of glamping? Well, this is going to be glamorously homeless, you know, glamorously camping while well, there's glamorously homeless. And it's those people and up, you know, and they're, they're not living in like some RV that, you know, they do it part time or something like that, or it has to be traded in, you know, in a short amount of time. Cause it gets worn out. I mean, literally you'll be able to tell very quickly and very easily who's a human and who's not. The non-humans are going to be employed they're going to be healthy. They're going to be looking perfectly fine and healthy. And that is who you know. And and this is the thing. Everybody's going to be saying, oh, it's AI technology making them look good, making them sound good. No, it's not. That's the point. That's, not, that's the kind of mind fuck that is going to go on. That is the point right there. It's going to be an absolute... The people who are looking healthy, sounding healthy, who are not homeless... They're the reptiles. They're the snakes. They're the non-humans. And everyone else who is homeless, who is unemployed, the best that they're going to get is underemployment. That's the best that humans are going to be able to be. Underemployed, which is a ridiculous term in, to begin with, but there you go. That's going to be humans. That's going to be the people who have evolved from monkeys rather than evolved from reptiles. Literally. It'll be fast and easy to be able to tell the difference. And that will be the difference right there. It'll, it'll literally, it, it'll be like a stark 1%. America is like, it's already a third world country with first world money. You know, uh, people have called it trailer trash, you know, blingy trailer trash. Like you're living in a trailer covered and crusted in diamonds. It's like, why would you do that? Why won't you just move up? You know, but they don't, don't want to. Um, I don't know why, but there you go. There you go. Having been tortured myself in more than too many lifetimes, I am very much for the tortured. I'm very much for victims and I'm very much for anyone and anything that is being victimized. And those in power, especially despise people you know, like me, who are for the tortured, who are for 
those who are victims and who are for those who are victimized. And, you know, I don't know how else to put it. Andrew Yang really had the answer. He said, well, if you're going to be selling everyone's information anyway, why not give the people the very money, you know, and you're not giving them very much money at all, a thousand to $2,000 a month across the board. That's, that's the best solution. That is the solution. And these companies are raking in so much money that they can very much afford to do that. If you're going to buy and sell someone's information, you might as well at least pay them. And that's what I agree with. And these sickos and shits don't even agree with doing that much. They don't even agree with, you know, well, fine, we're not even going to pay them, you know, 2000 bucks a month, which they, everyone, everyone is owed more than $10,000 a month, especially by now. But, um, even from birth, even before birth. But on top of that, people, you know, the entities, the 1% that are running the system are not even giving out free housing, free water, free food, free clothing. And if you want to buy something nicer than that, then you actually have to get a job and buy it. You know, then you actually have to be employed and buy it. You know, they're not even going to give out the necessities and the basics of life, free health care. In America, we have no free health care at all anywhere. Canada has free health care. Mexico has free health care. All these other places have free health care. Even if it's not worth shit, even if it's some shaman shaking a rattle over you, that's better than what we have in America, which is absolutely nothing. And what we have in America is actual medical experimentation, you know, which is not good. I should have used those words. <clears throat> I shouldn't have mentioned the C word in the last one because I, I, it hit me. I was like, oh no, I use the C word. So I hope that the videos will stay up. I try to post them in other places other than YouTube, but I don't know where else. If you have any suggestions where else I can post it other than YouTube, let me know. So for free, obviously, I can't post it anywhere that's not for free. I got to make sure that this gets to absolutely everyone and that there is no paywall around it. So, because no one's going to be, I mean, you know, no one's going to be watching this anyway, except for the choir. And I'm trying to get it out beyond the choir, beyond people that will read David Icke. And sorry, I can't even pronounce his name. But <laughs> I've come back to the original way I've pronounced it. But anyway, this is getting on to the 20 minute mark. Um, and these these parsnip bits are really, I got to show this to you. This is just, I, I don't know. I think these might be spicy. I've never had a parsnip before in my entire life. Can you see the mess there? So, and my nose is hanging over that and the remnants of the, the green onions. So I'm going to, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm going to wash my nose <laughs> and deal with this. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to the truth. This is the truth. This is the future that is coming. I'm trying to look at the camera. I hope I'm I, I, I'm looking at the camera. I don't know how the camera is interpreting this, but this is the future. This is the future that is coming. It is right now, May, 2023. May is always a bad month for me, but thankfully I was able to do, I was able to do this. I'm so glad. So this is the future. This is going to happen. You don't have to believe me. You can write me off as a liar. You can write me off as insane. Just like David Icke or God, I can't, whatever. <laughs> the guy that wrote the books about the reptiles. Him. <laughs> you can write me off like he's been written off. Go ahead. I don't I don't blame you. I used to be one of those writing off people also. I was like, all right, you know, the most the most room I'll give you is prove it to me. Show me, show me the evidence. You know, show me, show me. You like the show me state. Show me. Come on, show me. You know, prove it to me. And um, you know, here's the proof. Just wait. Wait, watch, listen, and don't be tricked. There you go. Wait and watch. And every last thing that I have said in all these videos, it is going to happen. Whether they give different words and meanings to it, whether they do a better job of brainwashing people, whether they do a better job of wiping their memories, and they're doing this to traumatize. They're specifically doing this to traumatize. They're doing this specifically to torture and then to traumatize. They're priming the pump. They, they don't do this without a reason. And they do do this also to line their pockets and to get money. But the 
everyone thinks that the end result is money. Everyone thinks that the, that the bottom line is money. The bottom line is not money. It never was. That is the illusion that they're distracting you with because there's far better, more cost saving items and things. And literally, if you see a resource going away, you're going to do everything you can to try to either create more of that resource or try to get yourself onto something else. And yet they're not even doing that much. So there's, there's a lot more to this than you think. Think, think sociologically, think large. Sociology is the truth. Think large. Don't think macro, not micro. Think large groups of people. Okay. There's so much I want to say. I wish I could speak openly, but I don't dare because this is YouTube. So, and I'm already at the 21 minute mark, so I'll cut it off here. So that this kind of sum, sums up the videos. AI is going to make everyone who is healthy and well into homeless and into criminals. And after that happens, uh, and by the way, they're not going to talk about this on the news. They're going to be lying on the news. They're going to be saying jobs are big jobs. The economy is booming, booming, na, 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 like they always have been. And your question is, how in the world can they cover something this big up? Well, they've been covering up, let's just put it, extraterrestrials and aliens all along. How in the world are they covering something that big up? They've been covering up the homeless population all along. They've been covering up the mass beatings and rapings and whatnot in prisons all along. How do you think they've been covering up? They haven't been addressing it on the news. Whenever the news does addresses it, they make fun of it. They play it down. They say, where's the proof? They say that these people are liars. They're liars because they're insane. They're liars because they're druggies. They're liars because they don't know how to tell the truth. They, they make out the truth to be a lie. And now they're going to use AI in that. They're going to be able to say, oh, it's a deep fake. Oh, it's AI. So I'm giving you a heads up ahead of time. And there you go. So bye for now. I'll see you in the next videos.